recently had such fantastic wins. And I, he hasn't been in the scene in Westchester because he's been off in college, yes. right? And so when he comes through back here, maybe he's just out of practice, not remembering how Westchester operates, but he wants to be making a show. Yeah, and you he's definitely looking to travel the world a lot more, you know, because like you said before, he's a very formidable foe. He's obvious, he's kind of like on that PGR level as well. He can certainly excel once he travels on out there. But, you know, he's playing against a veteran. This is ice out here. This is this opponent is no joke to sleep on. And not only that, he is on fire tonight in a way that I have never seen him before. And, oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look at yeah. the intelligence in his play. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. But one of the things that when you are a patient player in neutral, part of that means you give space, you yes. know? Because you don't want to commit when you don't feel ready. And Miles, knowing that, is pushing him to the corner. And that's what you want to do because Wolf, you know, a lot of his just points, they're, they're kind of like sortie hitboxes. And the thing against sorties, right, you want to push them into the corner and leave them with no option to breathe. So you can start pressuring, you know, condition them right on up. But Ice, you know, has the upper hand in this situation. He has the free, free ledge trap and proxy with the Wolf. Oh. But Miles, trying to challenge? Fashion buttons out here. It's. I feel like that's a specific, specifically a thing Ice wouldn't do. Like, yeah. notice the way he's just giving him space perfectly, outspacing Yoshi back here. That is hard to do. With Yoshi's airspeed making him cover so much distance, it is deceptively hard to actually punish Yoshi back here like that. But catching him jumping out of the corner, I like that because before he was up smashing, yeah. so committal. At the same, but right there, same idea. You up air to catch a jump, but you don't necessarily eat a massive punish if you get Honestly, wrong. this is where Miles is going to get the jump on ice, right? He has to invade that space, you know, that he's kind of just been creating oh, no. to kind of react. And he has to get these calls going on up. But when Ice, you know, he'd be playing like this, having the wolf on lock, it's kind of airtight, but Whoa. finding that forward air into the us match, Miles looking to aggressively swing for this stock. However, Ice is going to hold Whoa. it down with the S match. Coming to that Out space. Outspaces Yoshi forward air. Once again, you don't know how hard that is to do. He's micro spacing against Yoshi. That is phenomenally difficult right now. And oh, the trip. Oh. Caught me tripping, stumbling, the whole flow. And the lasers to get the chip damage, he knows he has the lead. He's like, I'm okay with playing patient. I can get the damage in. And I, I do like this where Miles is recognizing how much he's holding shield, starts to use grab just to maybe condition him out of it. Yeah, going for egg light, recognizing just how much he's getting a little bit too comfortable shielding from anywhere. And at the very least, Miles is saying, no, you can't be doing that. You have to play the mix up game. That's what I'm here to make you do. Yep, and Ice, you know. Looking to push Miles to this game too and close his on out, but Miles oh! having the upper hand. That was so good. Also, you saw clanked with forward air. The amount of times he was constantly throwing out forward air, forward air, forward air when he was coming back, and it was working. It was hitting Yoshi before his own hitbox could come out. But right there, Miles changes up the timing and knows that if I trade here, who cares if you hit me with a forward air? You're getting dunked into oblivion. Like I was saying before, you know, Ice, you know, you just catch on to his rhythm. He has the callouts, and you just got to go for it. With Yoshi, you've got that big old head with slam. He was making a lot of callouts in that game, especially with the smash attacks, and those weren't really working. But it's once he has the advantage. That's the thing, like, Ice is such a smart player in neutral, but his disadvantage state is where he just gets bad stuff happens to him. Yeah, uh, and with Wolf, you know, he's kind of a linear character with the recoveries. He has the Wolf Flash. He got the up people. When you can kind of just catch on to that Wolf's rhythm, it makes it really easy to kind of just ledge trap and edge guard them. Well, the big thing is that Miles has been catching his jumps. And I also love mm -hmm. this adaptation from Miles. Now he's doing that same thing. And the double jump armor Yo. to just get that stock. Oh my god. We're going to break that down? I don't think that was true, but... It definitely was not. But you know what? Free form Yoshi combos out here. I mean, maybe. Yoshi does some stupid stuff sometimes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> he runs right in there and stuff. Nope. All right. Yeah. Zagging a bit on the conversion from the Nair. I kind of like that way to see what button he's going to press. And Miles trying to run up with the jab block. is not able to get it on now, but he is still traveling on the platform. And You're the dead? guy to kill off the top. Oh. Ooh, hit him with that Yoshi. Again, reading the jump when he's off stage. My, uh, sorry, Ice. It's just being a little bit too caught. He's just falling into it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he jumps right again there almost instantly. And when you do, oh, no. I, he, yeah, jumped again. Right there, it kind of worked oh, out. Oh, the top back? All right. This is the challenge. This is the call out. I mean, 
the fact that Miles lost this set in winners, right? Yep. That taunt is maybe trying to hype himself up again, recall the better times that happened, you know, just a few hours ago. But oh, and I think that taunt was misplaced, 113%. And even that aggressive option like that, he's just not finding a meaningful way to... Yep, it's a power-up, all right. Yeah, it, there it is. What? He mashed side B out of the egg by accident. How does that even happen? Just so you know, I believe that the way it still works in this game is uh, when you... It's based on the first input you make, not the yeah. last input of when you get released. Oh, ri oh! So if you press side B and start mashing, like if the first things you do are side and B and then you start mashing, as soon as you come out, it's the side B that's buffered and is executed. Is that like that for like every furry? Or is it like uh, yes. I actually did not know that. You I mean, like, what do you, okay, you think about it from a game design perspective, it makes sense, because otherwise yeah, you don't know when you are going to be released, you know? Yeah, because you're already like trying to do the action. You're mashing, you so, uh -huh. and there's no way to know when you're actually going to pop out. So if you're mashing the buttons, it's basically, it, it's actually better because it keeps it from being totally random. All right, that is crazy. I just got knowledge bomb, oh, but okay. We're still in loser quarters oh. over here. Okay, right there. He didn't jump. You saw that. Miles went for that high forward air, yep. trying to catch him jumping, and I think that we're seeing adaptation from Ice right here. And if he's if he cleans up his disadvantage state like that, I think his neutral has still been really good. He can possibly, he can, might be able to carry him to at the very least a game win, because right now he needs something on the board. Yeah, we're seeing Ice kind of use the blaster this time around to kind of command that approach from Miles, give him a little bit of respect, get that little chip damage on, you know. Get a little bit of a two for one, but the command throw oh, put him the shambles. Do not DI in. If you DI out and he forward throws, you will not die. It's it's not worth it. Yeah, that's a bit of a knowledge check right there. It might also just be nerves and fear. But yeah, you see Miles calling around. He knows he's in this right now. But you can't what? be running up into that S match. That's the second time. Ice has been catching everyone tonight, just running up into these S matches. I mean, Wolf F Smash, it's slow to come out, but it's surprisingly lagless. Yeah. And it kind of has that little pushback as well, so you get a little bit of spacing if you get it right. So your opponent isn't able to immediately challenge you, because you also have that shield stun that kind of just locks yeah. you up. And oh, despite how decisive this game was looking for Miles, this is even. This is dead even. Oh, can you get the oh, punish? The egg roll. Oh. This is a battle right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm fearing. I'm scared. There's that back throw from Ice, though. Putting Miles in the corner. Miles, I like the idea, you know, going on high because Ice not really covering that high space. He's waiting to just cover the landing time. That was... I love that. I'm sorry. You saw... There was this... It was a clear game being played there. Yet he was looking for this back air. But he positioned himself differently for the back air almost every single time. Eventually he finds it, and that puts him with a stock lead, and oh, I like the idea behind that. If that had connected on the shield, probably would have broken mm -hmm. it. And Smile looking to chase off the down to Oh, well, you're dead. But you're dead, yeah. Just going a little too low. Very it, unfortunate It doesn't matter. Ice. He didn't have Legend Invincibility. He would have gotten an F-Smash for his death. <laughs> you know, you can make this work. You do got the room to make this round. It's a nice, even game. You just can't let Miles put that work in. Yeah, Miles also, one of the things that's worth noting, Yoshi, when he goes for that sort of empty hop down air, it's looking for an opponent jumping without a hitbox. And we have been seeing a lot of late aerials from Ice. So, yeah, it's, it's been working out for him, but that's like the adaptation here. The DI read off the, oh. the F smash. Ice is so good at calling out people's DI, so he's able to get those free F smashes in. But, all right, following the text case, okay, and trying to read the roll on in for the F smash. Miles is not able to get it off, but leaving the situation from the parry. He's setting up himself beautifully for the oh. edge guard. And this Don't is the chase. In. No, he died in! You warned him. You warned him. You, you, you warned him. I'm actually, I am a little bit sad about that. I think that there were, not only because I would have liked to see Ice make an even deeper run, but the game by the end there, you saw the way that they were, the conversation that was going on yeah. with the options being chosen, when and where, and the adaptation that was happening in the middle of the game, the way that they would just run right through each other when they know the other person was just going to be fading backwards. It was it was honestly poetry, and yeah. unfortunately, Ice, 